Microsoft just quietly revealed why traditional keyword research is dead, specifically for AI search. They've done a wonderful blog post, I'll leave it in the links below. And really, the AI search engine is evolving, so our strategies should evolve with it, and keyword research is one of those. The AI search engines, they look for clear meaning and consistent context. So we need to write for intent, not just for keywords, understand the concept that the user is trying to solve. Another blog post puts this really, really well, and I think this is how I want to summarize it. That the way that you need to think about how to optimize for AI search engines is don't look for what are the keywords that people are typing, but more so what is the problem that they're trying to solve? Because one keyword can have many problems attached to it, and therefore many different concepts that we can write about. Let me show you what I mean here in another way. So if I do some research on traffic to your website. Traditional keyword research would just tell me that, yep, it's a hard keyword. It can give you potentially a lot of traffic, but good luck. But it doesn't really give me any more information about, well, what are the different concepts behind this keyword that I can ultimately try and answer? Before this, we can use other tools that really help this. You can make an account with Answer Socrates. It's free for, I think the free version allows you for quite a few free users. They've got this beautiful new tool called the PAA Extractor. That is People Also Ask Extractor Tool. I'm going to put the same keyword that I just did with the Ahrefs, traffic to your website, the country, the United States, and I'm gonna analyze that question. It's gonna take a while, and then it's gonna give me this kind of beautiful flow chart. And this is where one keyword gives you many different concepts that you can start writing about. For example, traffic to your website. Well, one concept around this can be, okay, how do I get traffic to my website? And then we have these subsequent questions around that concept that we can answer. Or how do I check the traffic to my website, right? That's a different concept altogether. We have the questions around that as well. And then finally, how do I get a hundred visitors to my website? And then the subsequent concept around that, which is, I think, a lot better use of your time when you're doing research and understanding what you need to write to become the topical authority and therefore get this traffic from the AI search engines. A quick trick to kind of point you towards the right direction here is download this as a PNG or a CSV file. That doesn't really matter. I'm going to go to ChatGPT and I have this prompt below in the resources that's going to help you filter this and point you towards one of many right directions to think about this concept here. I'm going to copy this thing right here and I'm going to uh, go back to ChatGPT paste it in there. So we need to fill one thing here, and that is the main concept here. So for example, ranking chat GPT, and I'm going to get the downloaded PDF and place it in there. It might not be perfect the first time, but having a back and forth conversation is something that you really should be doing with chat GPT when you're doing this concept research and not just leave it to a hey Once we give it a second, let's see the output that it gives us and then how I would go and write content that's really going to help me for this. Okay, so it says there, the related questions is how do I get traffic to my website? How do I check traffic to my website? And it gives us an intent. So how to, people want to know how to get traffic to the website, obviously. Analytical perspective, looking for measurement tools and methods, the insight summary. So people searching around traffic to your website are split between learning the basics, tracking performance, so checking analytics and then growing reach. So it even gives you a suggested kind of focus. I'm going to take it one step further and I want to try and go, okay, can we use this as the main concept? Can we use this as the main concept instead? Perfect. So now the closest related questions to that one is how do I check uh, my website traffic? Which website traffic checker is best? Can I track visitors? Is Google Analytics free? How do I get my website seen? So this already is making up a pretty good concept that I can answer in a blog post. And now I get a much more detailed understanding of how I should start structuring this. So the insight summary here is searches are asking how to check website traffic, not just seeking analytic tutorials. They're trying to understand visibility. So not just here's how to install Google Analytics 4, but here's the things you should check and this is what they mean. So here, for example, a blog post that I should probably do myself is a beginning guide to checking and understanding your website traffic without getting lost in analytics. And through that, I want to answer all these questions. And if you're wondering, well, great, you've given me homework now, but how do I go and write this? Do not worry. I've done a complete tutorial you can watch here that gives you kind of seven key items that you need to keep in mind when you're writing content with AI to give you the highest possibility to rank in the AI search engines. That includes a prompt to make this a lot easier as well, because finding the concept is one thing, but writing about it really well is another as well. I hope this was a quick, nice and easy tutorial that will help you out. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. Thanks.